Hello all, uh, in the earlier video we had seen how to install Informatica support console uh, and uh, basically how to create a connection for this meta query tab in it. Now as part of this video we are going to see how the uses of this meta query tab and uh, in order to uh, see that uses we are going to validate all these uh, different attributes of uh, Informatica. Uh, which are really important as part of uh, sanity checking so you need, even if you are a developer or a ad informatic administrator you need to validate all these uh, attributes for uh, each and every session or workflow which you are going to migrate from dev to stage environment so there are many things which you can actually uh, perform using this Informatica support console or even with the meta meta query tab but uh, I am just limiting my scope to these limited attributes so let's start creating a workflow first and one by one we'll go through these attributes so I have this mapping created which is uh, wherein I have created one user defined function uh, which is uh, basically is to trimming the space of, of the uh, ports which we which we which we are using at uh, expression or any other transformation so and another thing is i have used this aggregator uh, which is having this property as uh, 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 sorted input property selected so i am going to create a corresponding workflow for this mapping and uh, we'll will validate uh, whatever attributes which we discussed earlier one by one so workflow creation is done let me refresh disconnect and connect to my folder again so as you can see this workflow is in currently in checked out status so while migrating your code from dev to stage environment or stage to prod environment you have to make sure that not a single object is in checked out status so you can easily perform this activity by creating a repository query and uh, you can find out how many checked out objects do you have but uh, if you have let's say three four different repositories and in which you have to find out all the uh, checked out objects which you are going to migrate from one environment to another then it's a difficult task because you need to create a uh, same query uh, in a separate repository and you have to execute that so by using this meta query tab or informatica support console our life is quite easy because in here you'll as you can see under the generic tab you will find this checked out object option you just have to click that and just if you click on this get details you will find you can find how many checked out objects you have in a repository or in a particular folder so as you can see uh, the workflow which we created is currently in checked out status now let's check in that check in that workflow we'll hit that option again get details you will find nothing so now let's go back to this workflow tab and click here workflow session transaction connection details so this is the workflow which we created just now and after checking in it is displaying all the attributes of that workflow over here in a tabular form so this is the workflow which we created this is the session and the mapping now for a session uh, these are the generic attributes uh, which which generally uh, every organization follows that the stop on error has to be one dtm buffer size has to be auto commit interval has to be 10000 so let's validate all these attributes one by one so stop on error at a session level stop on error get details so for a session which we have created just now it doesn't have stop on error as one so let's change that
I will create few other attributes as well. So the commit interval we have 10,000 which is fine. I will change this DTM buffer size from the default to the auto. auto. Save session logs, let's say make it 5 stop error we will change it to 1 we'll pre-85 timestamp compared we'll check we'll check that option ok let's check in again let's validate these attributes again. Now earlier this value was 0, we will again click on get details. Now the value got changed to 1. Similarly the DTM buffer size we will check. It is auto. Uh, the other attribute which we changed is pre-85 timestamp compatibility. It should show as selected now. Yeah, it's it's selected. and. Yeah, we'll see the commit interval. We haven't changed anything there, so it should show the default value as is. What's the commit type? Commit interval. Yeah, here it is. Which is 10,000, which is a default value. The next thing is we are going to see the uh, at workflow properties like workflow session mapping trans which which we have already seen so this will give you the whole hierarchy of that workflow that how many sessions we have under that workflow how many transformations or how many mappings so as you can see we have only one workflow one session one mapping but under the mapping you have two different transformations basically one is a source qualifier and another is a target next thing is integration service uh, let's see the integration service as well which is for this particular workflow this will mean. Uh, the next is the mapping as we had already seen uh, the mapping which we have created we had one we have one aggregator transformation in that and purposely for that aggregator transformation we had selected the sorted input option let's go to the mapping tab not in the mapping tab it's in the tra I think it's in a transformation tab Yeah, here it is aggregate transformation with sorted input yeah so this is the aggregate trans transformation name for which we had selected the trans sorted input option the next is uh, the user defined function we have so in since we have one user defined function uh, let's say you need to find out what are user defined functions you have in entire repository so where it is where it is user defined functions yeah so this is a user defined function this is the fun this is the function name expression value yeah. and uh, the last thing is the tracing level so uh, we should always have tracing level as normal when we are migrating something to production environment so let's check the tracing level of all the objects we have tracing level tracing level at widget so these many objects we have and for all the objects the tracing level is set as normal yeah so we have covered all the attributes one by one 
so this is what exactly the use of meta query uh, which is quite helpful for a developer or even for a basically for uh, ad informatica administrator but even for the developer if 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 at all you have access for it thanks for watching this video